So check this out, man. I wake up, toss on some pants, go downstairs, make my morning coffee, grab my Wheaties, and I go out here drinking my coffee. <laughs> what is this? What is that? And the wife yells, I bought a new Jeep yesterday. She bought this? A trail cat? Knowing that I own four wheeling and dealing, an old classic four wheeler dealership. And she goes out and buys a brand new one. So I instantly fire up the crotch rocket and head on over to four wheeling and dealing. Anyways, <laughs> it's not a bad dealership. And I don't see why the, I don't see why she couldn't have just took one of my 10 Jeeps that I have over here that are way cooler than the trail cat that costs 50 grand. So I got to talking to her. I was like, Hey, you should maybe return that trail cat. Cause I got a lot of really cool, uh, Broncos that you can drive over here. And she was like, no, I'm not going to return it. I was trying to tell her every day of the week, a Bronco will kick the trail cats. Ass. And she was like, bet. So, um, we're going to have a little competition. I'm going to take that trail cat and I'm going to option this thing out. I'm going to make it the best trail cat. I can make it possible because I know off-roading this thing's going to do nothing. This thing's absolutely going to be a pile of dog crap compared to my Broncos. Maybe not. This thing does handle pretty good. Well, we'll see. So today's video is going to be an off-roading competition, basically. We got this trail cat versus my old Bronco that I think is going to be amazing off-roading. We'll see. Of course, this is RCC, and I haven't done an RCC video in forever. So that's what we're doing today. If you do end up enjoying this video, let me know by smashing the like button. I always appreciate it. Also, for you farming fans, we got something cool, something kind of coming back. Maybe you can guess. It goes by RP, or other known as Roleplay, coming back here soon this week. So, stay around. We're doing some farming again. So, I'm going to take the trail cat in, have one of my guys probably put bigger tires on this light bar. We'll see what else we can do to customize it. Also, do you guys ever think you can buy a $4,000 PC and have Farm Sim run perfect? That was my thought too. But man, it feels like I'm drunk driving around here. I can barely, it's so laggy and glitchy through here. It's hard to even focus through here. It's just like, so your eyes are just so messed up through here. But anyways, my point is that no matter what and how expensive and how nice a PC you get in Farm Sim, if you, I think it comes down to the game engine and if you start putting tons of crazy mods all around each other, it's still gonna lag. So that's just Farm Sim itself. Okay, so here's what we got. We have a green roof to it, uh, just regular stock wheels that come with it. Keep in mind, this is a $50,000 vehicle. It's seven, It's got 707 horsepower. I didn't know that. I did not know it had this much horsepower. So we gotta kinda figure out, ah, this is gonna be interesting, Bronco versus this. Obviously light bar is not gonna do too much to it, but we'll put a light bar on. And then wheel setup. Whew, those off-road wheels look pretty darn good. So we'll go off-road wheels, a little more aggressive. And then we could go also chains. Now chains look pretty darn cool. Do we really need them right now? I don't know. They do look pretty sweet though. Yeah, I really don't think we need chains unless he gets snowy outside. But man, that was like, that's kind of cool having chains on this. So here she is, the trail cat with beefier tires. I can't read what type of tires they are. Um, but then we add a light bar. So all we did to upgrade is just bigger tires. Now I gotta choose a Bronco to go up against this. I think my blue Bronco is completely optioned out, but I wanna make sure. So we're gonna build a yellow one out just to make sure I can get this looking the best and the best off-road performance as possible. So we'll go spare wheel, no hard top. Um, winch, yeah, we'll put a winch because we'll probably be pulling that trail cat out. Classic lights, we, we definitely need rock crawler suspension on this. Catchers, rear hitch, yeah, that's fine. It's a little more weight, but it'll be fine. Now tires, so we got mud, mud second rim, mud two, mud second. I want an off-road. The standard rim isn't bad on this. I think we're gonna keep it standard. And then engine, we're gonna go the 427 Cobra. So this thing is almost half as less half as much horsepower as that trail cat with 380 horsepower. Now I always like keeping everything black, black and yellow. And there we go. Man, I don't know what it is about this map or the lighting, but it makes vehicles look so good and detailed. I can't tell if it's shaders or what, but man, she looks beautiful. Gosh darn it, that looks like real life. We'll just one up the trail cat right here for a sec. Oh shoot. This is actually gonna be interesting. 
So Trail Cat versus Bronco. We got the off-road course back here. I don't really know what I'm going to do to compare them besides drive them. So we'll see footage. We can review footage afterward. We'll start with the Trail Cat. And then, of course, we will hit the mud pit that we made back there, too, just to test our house. Okay, here we go. Not bad, smooth, handles pretty good through here. There we go, mud pit. How does it handle? Not bad. <laughs> okay, another hill climb up through here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it recovered. This is kind of fun, this trail cat. Does it tip through here? Suspension's pretty smooth. Now, it gets pretty tough through here. Not these rocks with the cone tipped over, but once we get past this. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is where it gets kind of tough. You have to cut up through these rocks. Oh my gosh, this thing is pretty good. Dang. Okay, we finished the course. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda digging this trail cat. It performed really well. Like that suspension was insane through there and it has such a wide stance. If you look back here, that we weren't even tipping that much. Compared to the Bronco, it doesn't have as wide of stance. Okay, well, let's take the Bronco. I always have faith in my old Bronco, but man, that trail cap performed good. Okay, here we go. Give her. Yep, through there smooth. The only thing that's gonna kill me is that this doesn't have as wide of stance. Oh, sh and once again, there we go. I rolled it. Cut through the mud here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh gosh, we kind of cut the side of it. Okay, now the hill climb. I thought this thing had more power. Nice, don't tip here. Don't tip. Here we go, down through here. Now rock climbing is probably the funnest. This is the funnest section on this map. I'll cut through here. Gosh darn it. Okay, here we go, don't tip. Ooh, it's taking me a while. And it could be because I'm a crappy driver in farm sim. That could be it, the difference too. Come on. Nice. Don't tip. Oh my gosh. Smooth. Smooth. Now we have one last thing to test them in, and that is the mud. The mud. <laughs> the Bronco, no! I always thought the uh, Bronco was the best off-road vehicle out there. Simple as that. But, this trail cat is making me rethink some things. I mean, this thing is just a beast. It doesn't tip even. That's a crazy thing, like watch this. Oh, oh. Oh my, g come on. I think the Bronco could climb this. There we go. Oh, don't tip, don't tip. Yep. So I do have one other like crazy steep hill climb over here, you'll see it. It's uh, right there. It's not crazy steep, but we'll see if you can make it. Come on, come on. Oh, we're going. We're moving, just slowly. <laughs> I wonder what our MPG is right now. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Oh! So originally I always thought the Bronco was the best off-road vehicle in the game. Like, seriously, hands down, it was always go-to vehicle. If I had an off-road challenge, I'm always using the Bronco. Like, if we're going on an off-road adventure. But, the Trail Cat? This thing is insane and actually performs better than the Bronco. I'm serious. Maybe I screwed up an option on that Bronco, but the Trail Cat is just a beast off-road. I think I'd have to give it to, first of all, it's got some nice aggressive tires, but its, it's stance is just so wide compared to the Bronco over here. Maybe if I get a wider stance, a bigger axle, or some spacers, space this in out, it'd perform better. But Trail Cat, in my opinion, is the best off-road vehicle in Farm Sim right now. Unless I'm missing something. If I'm missing something, put it down below in the comment section. I'd love to know. For the Toyota fans, I did kind of forget about this truck. And I always pronounce it wrong, and hundreds of people have told me how to pronounce it. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Hilux. The Toyota Hilux, because I always just call it Helix. I think it's High. 
flux. I'm pretty sure. Which, hey, maybe this is good. I haven't tested it in a while, so we'll give it a shot in the competition too. Smooth through there. I did scrape my bottom end and have to reroute right here once I went down. With that trail cat, it'll just go through anything. We don't get hung up. <laughs> Watching the suspension work is pretty cool on this truck. Okay. Oh, that was pretty smooth. Oh, don't dip. There we go. There we go. I always try to get above this stump. Man, this is a close call because now this this Toyota is pretty good. I'm still going to probably have to give it to the Trail Cat. But this Toyota is definitely better than the Bronco. Huh, man. Now I have to go apologize to the wife about making fun of this Trail Cat. This seems pretty good. Didn't even show you guys the interior of this Trail Cat. So here she is. I don't know if it's like a 5 speed, 6 speed, if there's an option. I wonder if you can get it automatic, but it looks like it's manual there. I always like to think back to the people that are like, dude, this is a, it's called farming simulator. You're supposed to be farming for a reason. And by all means, I get those comments and stuff and I, I totally get it. But man, that always reminds me. It's pretty crazy how far this game can come to where we can have all these mods and do all these crazy things on this game, like have an off-road competition here. I mean, it's, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy all the mods and stuff that we can have. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, coming later this week, we are doing some farming roleplay. It's a whole new series coming back. We're working on it this weekend a lot. So thanks for watching, and hey, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.